Hello, how are you doing today? I hope everything is working very well for you. And uh, I'm so much thankful for this time because today I am so much excited because I wanna teach you several tricks on how you can get business contacts when starting a new business. We understand that being in a new area, in a new location, or maybe a new job is, is not always the easiest way. You need contacts and it may not be that easy. So let's get down to this. So the first thing that you ought to do is uh, you can be able to join the local chamber of commerce. When you talk about local chamber of commerce, there are different organizations um, and uh, whereby people are able to meet people who have, are like-minded when it comes to a certain niche of business or where people can go and exchange contacts, especially people in the same area of business. So uh, with the local chamber of commerce, that is one of the areas. Number two, you can join the board of trade. Board of trade is also another lucrative area whereby you can be able to meet up with people sharing the same interests, exchange business cards, exchange different ideas, and of course, remember to give value because value is almost everything in every business. And number three, you can uh, go to different events, business events. Now, many, many people really fear and they don't like to spend. They don't like to go to places where they know I will spend 3,000 or 2,000 Kenya shillings or even 1,000 or even 500 shillings to go and uh, uh, link up with other people. I see as if it, they are sucking me out of my money and I'm still looking for... Let me tell you, you get money spending money. The only way you can be able to make money and make good contacts is going to these business events. So many times we have business events happening at the carnival restaurant, we having this and that we're having entrepreneurs uh, exhibitions we're having real estate exhibitions just go there it doesn't really need you to be a real estate agent or doing maybe a certain niche of business but that contact is very important it's just the same way like uh, when you're trying to date uh, you want to date but you're always inside the house how will you might uh, find uh, your, your potential partner is going to be very dif difficult. So you need to go out there, mix up yourself in events, mix up yourself with people, go to churches, do things that uh, where you can be able to meet someone somewhere there. That, that's how relationship works. The same, same strategy happens even in the business field. You need to mingle with people, pay for events, business events, where the exhibition, like art gallery, all those kind of things, cocktail parties whereby just business people are discussing things go and join there nobody will kick you out as long as you have paid uh, what is required and from there you can be able to get contacts and that can start something for you the other thing is the local toastmasters when i talk about local toastmasters that is uh, basically it's just an ngo that teaches the art of public speaking so there there are local toastmasters nairobi local toastmasters mombasa local toastmasters new york uh, south africa wherever they are there everywhere where they teach people the art of public speaking. Now, the people who are coming to be taught about public speaking, most of them are business owners. They need to understand how they can speak during events, how they can speak uh, when they are pitching their clients and things like that. So, so those are real and good gatherings whereby you can apply uh, or you can just become a member. And whenever you go there and you're, uh, and you're associating yourself with these people you never know you will dish out a few cards here and there and you'll meet up with people who can be of great resource and help to you so that's a very good area local toastmasters the other thing is uh, country clubs you can join country clubs like a uh, golf clubs tennis clubs and all that now that is when you get a little bit um, uh, wealthier in your job eh? Joining country clubs is also very important. Very, very, very important. Look at the rich people. They always meet in golf course, golf tournaments, chess, wherever. All those kinds of games and chill, chill areas for the rich. Those are the places where you'll meet the who is who in the business. When they are chilling out, when they are playing golf, when they are playing tennis, when they are playing a game of chess, when, when all those organizations 
is very important because that is where you're going to meet your contacts. You won't find them in just a local joint down there where people are just uh, chilling and uh, talking about misery. No. Those are not the places you'll find such kind of people. So join these clubs, these, uh, th these country clubs. They will help you so much to be able to get contacts. Uh, that will help you in your business. And that is very, very important. And the final thing, I save the best for the last. Join entrepreneurs organization. Entrepreneurs organizations are almost everywhere in the world. Every country, every city, every location, there's an entrepreneur's organization. So this is also uh, something for a little bit when you get uh, somehow wealthier a bit. So this uh, entrepreneurship organizations is just basically, just, just go to Google, just type uh, entrepreneurs organizations like in Nairobi or in Mombasa or where. You will find a link to different kinds of entrepreneurship organizations whereby people come together, they share ideas. I saw one which was happening in Sankara. It happens, I think, every, every Thursday, if I'm not wrong, in Westlands, whereby uh, entrepreneurs, they meet uh, maybe once a month, or I don't know, it's once a month or every week. I, I don't have a clear picture of the same. But it happens whereby people just exchange ideas. They exchange one idea to another. If you have this business of supplying, this other person can give you raw materials. This other person can become this and that. And it's just entrepreneurs who sit down together and they see how they can share their wealth together. It's just the same way like politics. Politicians will always be together. Today they're on BBI. Tomorrow they are on a Huduma number. The other day they're on this. The other day they are talking about uh, orange and uh, whatever. They just mingle and swift themselves just all over with between each other. And for you, who doesn't know exactly what happens there, you'll always keep on thinking that somebody had to make a very big phone call and met the no these guys are meeting every day every single day to just discuss on how they will uh, manipulate you guys manipulate you let's come up with this idea let's eat let's come up with this idea let's eat let's come up with this idea let's eat let's come up with another idea and that's basically what happens the same same concept in business meet up and stay with people who are in business so that today we can say let's do production of this there are few uh, things in, in market. There is need of this. Why, guys, can't we come up together and put our funds together and do this? Hey, even if you don't have the funds to put in there, you can have an expertise. Expertise. You understand how to do A, B, C, D. You're a good graphic designer. You can design the whole concept. You're a video editor. You can create that. You're a marketer. You you know a certain contact somewhere. You know someone in France whereby the, you, the, 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 he can be sent to bring a certain product. As long as you can give value in something, people will want to work with you. So join these organizations for entrepreneurs and there you will get different ideas and different uh, contacts to help you grow your business. So hope this one has been a major challenge to you. Please take heed of the same and help yourself to become the best. Hope it has helped you. God bless you and have a great time.